Hello and welcome to this YouTube video on the art of procrastination. We've all heard that procrastination is the thief of time, or procrastination kills productivity. But sometimes, it can feel like procrastination is the only way we can get anything done. After all, let's admit it, there's not really a feeling quite like cracking open a bag of chips and binge watching your favorite TV show instead of doing something productive. In this video, we're going to explore how you can get things done without actually doing them. Step 1. Start by redefining procrastination. The first step in the art of procrastination is to have a different outlook on this bad habit. Rather than looking at it as a negative trait, we can look at it as a tool. See procrastination not as an enemy, but as an ally. Instead of beating yourself up over procrastinating, embrace it as a way to know yourself better. Ask yourself questions like, why am I procrastinating? What am I afraid of? Procrastination can also give us time to reflect on the task at hand and prepare mentally. So, it's important to strike a balance between procrastinating intelligently and letting it become a pervasive mental habit. Step 2. Break the task down into smaller tasks. One of the reasons why we procrastinate is because we're overwhelmed by the task at hand. This is where you have to be smart about it. Break the task down into more manageable subtasks. Then focus on each of them one at a time. This way, you will be making progress while gaining the procrastination mindset. Once you accomplish one subtask, the sense of progress can be a motivation to launch at the next task. Before you know it, the entire list of subtasks is finished, and you've completed the whole task without practically doing it. Step 3. Leverage the Pomodoro Technique The Pomodoro Technique is a popular time management method created by Francesco Cirillo in the 80s. The technique uses a timer to break down work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes. After completing each block, it typically includes a 5-minute break. The process is repeated until the task is complete. This approach can be useful to trick yourself into getting started with the task at hand. Set the Pomodoro Timer and get working. When the timer is up, allow yourself to take that well-deserved break. Once you come back fresh from the break, the momentum created from your first Pomodoro interval has usually catapulted you past the completion of the task. Step 4. Change your environment. Your environment plays a central role in motivating you to complete the task on time. Rather than try to forcibly remove the distractions, change the environment to make it more conducive to getting work done. You could try moving to another desk, sitting outdoors or a nearby cafe, changing the lighting, or putting on some music that helps you focus. Changing your environment can be a powerful way to regulate your emotions and spark creativity. Step 5. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being aware of the present moment without judgment. It's a powerful tool to counteract procrastination because it trains your mind to focus on the now instead of worrying about the future. By noticing any negative thoughts or self-talk regarding procrastination, you can learn to catch yourself when they arise and let them go. By focusing on the present, you're in a better position to get things done without feeling overwhelmed or anxious. In conclusion, the art of procrastination is not always about getting things done, but in some cases, about how you do it. So instead of beating yourself up, learn to embrace your procrastination and use it to your advantage. Break down big tasks. Use the Pomodoro technique, change your environment, and practice mindfulness. With these tools, you'll be surprised at all the things you'll easily achieve without really doing them. Thank you for watching this video on the art of procrastination. If you found this helpful and want to watch similar videos in the future, consider subscribing and leaving a comment below on what other topics you want us to cover.